Now that the decision has been made to consolidate servers by virtualizing them, Woodgrove Bank will use the Microsoft Assessment and Planning Solution Accelerator, or MAP, to analyze their environment. MAP is a powerful inventory, assessment, and reporting tool that can securely inventory small or large IT environments without requiring the installation of any agent software. The inventory and assessment capabilities provided by this solution accelerator can significantly simplify the planning process for migrating laptops, desktops, and server computers to Windows 7, Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2008, Windows Vista, and Microsoft Office 2007. The server virtualization scenarios help identify underutilized resources and the hardware specifications needed to successfully consolidate servers using Microsoft Hyper-V technology. The MAP tool uses an agentless technique to capture the performance data from the designated machines and determines which are candidates for virtualization and where they would be distributed when virtualized. The server consolidation node describes how the MAP tool can help prepare for server consolidation efforts. The server consolidation steps have already been completed and we'll review them now. The first step is to perform an inventory of the Woodgrove Bank server environment. The inventory gathers basic information for each computer it can successfully contact and stores the information in a database. The second step is to run the performance metric wizard that collects performance and utilization information from remote computers. The performance data collection duration is an important configuration when running the performance metrics wizard. The duration needs to be long enough to capture an accurate snapshot of the highest server utilization periods. The performance metrics wizard generates a report that provides a summary of the collection of performance data for the specified collection period. The processor utilization worksheet provides the CPU utilization details for each machine for which performance data was collected. The SEA LOB07 server had a high processor usage during the performance collection period. Servers that have high processor usage should be placed on separate servers if possible. The memory utilization and network utilization worksheets provide the memory and network interface utilization details for each machine for which performance data was collected. This data can help Woodgrove Bank determine how to place the virtual machines on host servers based on how much memory they require and the amount of network traffic. The physical disk utilization and the logical disk utilization worksheets provide the utilization details for the physical disks and logical disks in each machine. The collection statistics worksheet provides statistics for each machine for which data was collected during the collection period, including the success ratio, along with reasons for failure during the collection period. The next step is to perform the server consolidation analysis. The hardware library wizard allows you to build hardware configurations for use in the server virtualization planning wizard. This will enable Woodgrove Bank to quickly perform what-if analysis in the server consolidation section of the console using the server virtualization planning wizard. In the wizard, you define the CPU, storage, network, and memory settings of your host machine. The server consolidation wizard determines the number of virtual server host computers and the placement of virtual machines for consolidation of the servers. Using the data collected by the performance metrics wizard, the Server Virtualization and Consolidation Wizard enables Woodgrove Bank to configure a model virtual server host, select the virtualization technology to use, and generate reports and proposals that describe how the virtual machines should be placed on the virtual server hosts in order to best use the virtual server hardware. The Server Vert Recommendation Report provides configuration details of the model hosts used for placement recommendations and the recommended number of guests for placement on each host. The Consolidation Recommendations Worksheet provides recommendations for consolidation of the specified set of machines onto hosts, along with the projected utilization details after consolidation. This worksheet could be used to configure which virtual machines Woodgrove Bank places on each host. They could later change this configuration to better suit their needs. 
The Utilization Before Virtualization Worksheet provides details of the current utilization of machines in the Woodgrove Bank network based on performance details collected earlier. The values indicate the utilization before each machine is virtualized for consolidation. The Unplaced Machines Report Worksheet provides details of the machines that could not be placed, along with the reason for failure. The Server Vert Proposal Proposal describes the benefits of consolidating and virtualizing existing servers. It offers detailed server consolidation recommendations based on key performance metrics and detailed hardware specifications of each server that map inventoried across the network. Based on the current evaluation of the Woodgrove Bank environment, they have decided that they can virtualize their 40 servers on two physical machines. Woodgrove Bank could then evaluate potential return on investment, or ROI, associated with the consolidation recommendations made by the MAP Toolkit using Alinean's Integrated Virtual ROI Calculator. The link provided in the MAP Console will open the Virtualization ROI Calculator. MAP generates an XML file at the end of every server consolidation assessment. This XML file can be imported into the Alinean's Virtualization Integration ROI Calculator to analyze potential ROI. The Microsoft Assessment and Planning Toolkit is a free download available at www.microsoft.com map. Through the use of the map tool, Woodgrove Bank was able to determine the current utilization of their existing physical environment and then determine how they should virtualize this environment. Next, Woodgrove Bank will use the information generated by MAP when creating their design for the virtual environment.